If I will give you a suit that says Jesus Christ is King of Kings, does this change your perspective? We drive Mercedes, BMWs, Hummers and all those nice vehicles and we are proud. Does your neighbor know that you have something that he doesn't have? Does he know that you're going to heaven and leaving him behind? I believe that we will meet Jesus face to face and we will have to give an account of every time we choose not to open our mouth. Are those people worth anything to you? Does your grandma know that you are a child of a living God and you have the answer. You know, Canada is swept now with depression. Gay marriages, abominations in the eyes of God. Where are the children of the all almighty King, the Lord of Lords, raising up and saying no? Where are our politicians? Where are the people that we speak to? If you are guilty, if you are guilty, like I used to be, make up your mind. We are not here to scare anyone, but God himself said, that if you look warm, I will speak you out from my mouth. Because you're either cold or hot. Today is the day, if you want that spark, this is not between us and you. This is between you and God and God alone. He gives gifts. We cannot give anyone anything. Everything comes through the grace of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Through his power, through his authority, through his gifts. But you can have it tonight. He's a loving father. You know the scripture. You know what he said. That he will give good gifts to his children. Tonight there are good gifts for us, all of us, including us, including the street church, center street. For every one of us, God has something special. But we'll take humbleness. Are you ready to humble before a living God? I invite you to come and, and repent if you are not speaking for God. Repent if you are ashamed of the gospel. And make it straight with God. And He is just and faithful to forgive you. He will. And tomorrow will not look the same. Tomorrow the whole neighborhood will see your stickers behind your cars. That Jesus is King. Jesus loves you. Today is the day. So we're going to lay hands on people and pray. And if you have that desire to come, we will pray for you as well. Thank you for coming. If you are a child of God, living in truth, there is no condemnation. Amen? There is no condemnation for the one that believes in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But if you're not, today is the day. God bless you. The Bible says, Acts chapter 1 verse 8, the Bible says, But I will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Hallelujah. Yeah, let's call upon the power of God tonight. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for your glory. Hallelujah. Jesus, send us power. Impact your people, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, you know, we are empty tonight, Father God. We ask you to fill you by your power. Hallelujah. Jesus, send the legion of the angels tonight, Father God, to impact your people and to go to do the work, Father God. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. I go upon your glory, hallelujah. Upon your healing power, hallelujah. Upon the power which came on the day of Pentecost. We're going to sing in Swahili. We will hear Swahili for and we're going to try to, to give the meaning of the song. Simongo Arafanya Isharato Hallelujah. And we harvest us. We have to look up. Hallelujah. 